referred to as salt of the earth and affectionately nicknamed peanut. That's how a metery maintenance worker who was shot and killed on Monday is being remembered. Today, Kenner police revealed there was no motive behind the murder of 66 year old Lawrence Haar. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield live at Kenner PD with an update on this crime and who's now being accused of the killing. Ariel. Well, I spoke to Lawrence Her's sister and she tells me that her brother was a good guy. He was just trying to work and help other people. He cared for their elderly mother and I'm told he was a well known handyman here in the community. Now her was actually working on a house in Kenner on at, or at 29 Georgetown Drive in Kenner when he was shot and his car still sits in the driveway. Police told me he died from a single gunshot wound to his back just three hours after the shooting. Police identified a silver Mercedes used in the shooting and tracked down the drivers on West Esplanade using a camera system. Police determined the car drove past her three times before they shot and killed him. Police say there were no witnesses to the shooting. Deputies say Todd Matthews was arrested first and gave a confession that implicated Maurice Holmes. Both face first degree murder charges. Kenner PD says this death has affected many in the community. Everybody says this man was salt to the earth. It's just a real tragic situation. Um, and it's something that that, you know, really tugs at the heartstrings of all these hard investigators, um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're happy that within 20, well, within two and a half hours, we had these people identified, detained. And I'm told there is no relationship between the suspects and the victim. And I'm also told the suspects met each other just two weeks ago. Now, Holmes does have a previous criminal record related to domestic violence, and um, Matthews does not, no prior criminal record. Reporting from Kenner, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSC News. All right, Ariel, thank you. We'll see you back here at 6 o'clock.